Pete Williams, on that point, I read that tweet from, from James Comey saying he wants to do this in the light, he wants to do it uh, in an open session. What are Republicans, what are Republican leadership saying about why uh, they're not moving in that direction? Well, I think they, they feel that they'll get more candid answers in, in a closed session. Uh, and of course, uh, they hold the cards here, although uh, this whole business of subpoenaing a former government official uh, is always tricky because while Congress does have subpoena powers, uh, if Mr. Comey decides to resist this subpoena, and who knows what he's actually going to do here, this, there's sort of this public uh, back and forth playing out to try to persuade them to have this as an open hearing. If he decides to resist the subpoena, then uh, the House would have to vote to find him in contempt of Congress, and then it would be referred to the U.S. attorney here in Washington who could decide whether or not to prosecute. The law says he shall. But in the past, sometimes uh, members uh, of the, G the U.S. Attorney's Office have refused to pursue these contempt citations. So who knows how it would play out, and of course the clock might run out anyway. And Pete, you know, we've, we've followed how the comedy on Capitol Hill has deteriorated over these last many years, uh, especially on these committees. You look at the Intelligence Committee as a, as a prime example of that. Uh, it certainly has happened on other committees uh, as well. Just give us the big picture here of what changes when Jerry Nadler, the Democratic congressman, comes and takes over the Judiciary Committee. What's going to change in terms of the scope or the focus of an investigation like this one? Uh, one word answer for that, everything. Uh, because the, the, this, this, um, this focus on the Hillary email investigation is going to go away. That's been a top priority for many House Republicans. You can be assured that that's not going to be a, a top priority for House Democrats, and it will probably revive the interest in trying to pursue the Russian uh, meddling investigation in the House that kind of sort of uh, ran out of steam under uh, Republican leadership. So I think you're going to see, uh, you know, we've seen over the last several years this continuing cycle of when you have the opposite party in control of Congress, they seem to spend most of their time investigating the president, regardless of which party's in power and which party's running the Congress. And obviously that's going to change again come the 1st of January. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.